Hi, I'm the head course producer for CICI 201 at USC. I am also the director, lecturer, and editor of CICI 201 X. Welcome to CICI 201 X, brought to you by no other than your head producer of CICI 201 at USC. Now, why am I making this CICI 201 X course? First, what does CICI 201 X stand for? What does the X mean? X stands for experimental. So this is an experimental course made by me, your head CP of CICI 201 without an X. Now, before we get into the coding session, I want to give you a brief walkthrough and introduction of CICI 201 X and CICI 201 without an X at USC. Now, here we go, let's get started. Now, first of all, uh, welcome. Uh, this is an introduction, as I just said, of CICI 201 X principles of software development. Now, this introduction is split into three parts. First, I'm gonna tell you something about myself. Second, I'm gonna walk you through the expectations of the CICI 201 X course, as well as the CICI 201 without an X course at USC. And third, uh, I'm gonna walk you through some important points in the syllabus of CICI 201 without an X at USC. Now, first of all, something about myself. Uh, my first name is Head Minnowing CP, and last name is of CICI 201 at USC. I'm also the director, editor, and lecturer, and producer of CICI 201 X. I know that you guys are coming into this class having taken CICI 104 beforehand, which is in C++, which many of you guys have acquired a deteriorating mental health state. <laughs> coming out of this uh, CICI 201 X course, uh, what you can expect that you will achieve is that uh, you will have the equivalent knowledge in Java compared to your C++ knowledge from 104, and you're gonna be able to build simple websites with Java as the backend. Uh, you will have multi-threading knowledge, and you will have software engineering knowledge when it comes to uh, project management and um, workflow, all that. And also, you will have a drastically improved mental health state. I'm gonna save you $150 right here because in the, uh, in the CSA 201, without an X lecture at USC, uh, they tell you to buy a textbook. I'm here to tell you, no, just watch this video, watch my ads for free, monetize me, and you, don't, you can save $150. And the syllabus for CICI 201, the regular course, a few key things you need to know. First of all, there are no late dates when it comes to CICI 201. Unless the uh, professor emails you about some late dates or extensions, you're not going to get any. So if you turn it in at 12.01 a.m. of the next day, you get a zero. But the good news is you're usually given plenty of time to finish the assignments. As long as you don't start at the last minute, you should be totally fine. Now, the second thing is all the CP and TA team have office hours from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. from Monday to Saturday. So you can just walk into cell 101 and find us, ask us questions about the homework, the course, whatever. Now, the third point is you have to attend the labs because the lab assignments are graded by the end of the day. And unless you have a valid excuse or some other conflicts and you talk to the professor first, you cannot go to any other section. Go to your own section, make life easier for everyone as well as your head CP. And the fourth point, obviously, it's so obvious, but I still have to tell you, do not cheat. Because we run it through MOS, we run it through Turnitin. So don't think that you can copy someone else's homework, change a few variables, and call it a day. That's it for the syllabus. And now let's get into the week one material of CICI 201 at USC, brought to you by none other than your head course producer at CICI 201 and the producer of CICI 201X. Let's get into it.